Hey everybody and welcome back to Shield Wall. So we're here again playing through the entire campaign to make sure all of the strategies work to show you where all the hidden M4 are and show you how to get gold on each mission. So today we're playing through the fourth mission, Britannia. So the first thing we're going to do is hire our standard and then we're going to spawn 15 militia. Once that's done, we're going to run over here, jump off the ship, and we're going to go get the Amphora. This is the easiest one to get because it is right where you spawn behind that barrel. There you go. So, the strategy I use in this game is to eliminate light blue first. To do that, we run up the hill, we make a hard left, ignoring the B flag right in front of us and we hug the wall. Now right now, light blue has captured C and they're gonna make their way to either B or E. But while they're doing that, we're gonna just do an end around and go right to their fort. And while I do that, let me take a moment to say thanks for watching, guys. If you're enjoying Shield Wall on the channel, please hit that like button to let us know and we will keep bringing you more of it. It also really helps us to grow the channel and get more people interested in this great game. All right, so here we are at D. We're gonna capture this flag. And once we do that, we're gonna fill out our militia. So we'll end up with 20 militia. And we wanna make sure that light blue doesn't respawn at sea and come right back here and try and take the fort. So we're just gonna hold here for a minute and see where they're going. Okay, good, good, they're, they're heading over there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run right over to C and we're gonna take that too. And light blue will most likely get itself eliminated right here. Now, the game will not always play out this way. Sometimes green will take B, sometimes green will take A. But this is the strategy I've used multiple times. It can easily be adapted to overcome those obstacles. Okay, so now with this captured, we're going to head over to B, which it looks like green still hasn't captured. All right, this is breaking pretty well for us. This, this may end up being a, a pretty flawless run, to be honest with you. And if you do get a flawless run like this, this game can be over in 9, 10 minutes. All right, so once we have B... A surprisingly light blue is still alive. So we're gonna run up there, we're gonna fight light blue, but we're basically gonna ignore E. We want dark blue to do the dirty work of capturing E for us. Right now we're only really concerned with keeping the left-hand side of the map red. So as long as blue stays over here, light blue and dark blue, we're okay. Oh. So, I died. It's not going to be a perfect run. That happens. Alright. So, let me respawn my army. Oh, green showing up? No, well, that's okay. I'll just respawn troops and, and finish off green here. Now, occasionally, like I said, green will have captured A. So, when we go and we capture B, you'll just run down and recapture A. We didn't have to do that this time. All right, so now that we have our army, we are gonna run up here and we're gonna make a sharp right, right past this rock. And then we're gonna double back towards B because green likes to go through the forest and jump down there. And we, and we wanna stop him from doing that. Hi, you were trying to take our flag? Sorry, that, that's not allowed. All right, and from here, we're just gonna keep going through the woods in a straight line to their flag at F, their base. And then we will take care of that. And with that done, we have eliminated light blue and green from the game. All we have to worry about is dark blue. So I'm going to take a moment and grab my standard sign, and I think I'll go with uh, flag capture speed. Sometimes I'll go with attack speed, but we'll go with flag capture speed. And, um, 
Actually, wait, I'm gonna increase the size of my army too. So we'll go up here, click on that. All right, so now I'm gonna run over and capture E. Dark Blue mainly will hold G and run over and try and capture E. That's their basic approach to the entire game. So once I've gotten all of the other flags and Dark Blue is pinned at their fort, this game is over. It just takes a little time. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade to the flag's protective aura because we're going to be doing a lot of fighting right here. So I'm going to run my guys up here and wait for Dark Blue to come out of their fort and try and recapture E. And we're going to wait until they get a little closer so that we're fighting within the aura of the E flag. And we're just going to hang out here, respawning troops as needed, gaining experience points, which we will pour into the attack speed melee damage combination right here. And we're going to grab the um, flag's healing aura as well. So our troops are harder to hit, they heal faster, and they attack faster. So it gives us a definite advantage in combat. We're just going to wait here. Dark Blue will keep coming and attacking us. This is a great way to earn some of the achievements about maxing out your standard, maxing out experience. Just going to hang out here. Our goal is to get three more upgrades. You want to get the Gatecrasher upgrade? Hang on a second. We're going to use our experience points. And then we also want to upgrade our troops all the way to Legionnaire. So you can see we've just passed Dark Blue on points. So if for some bizarre reason we wanted to, we could just sit here for the next 35 minutes and get a silver medal. Obviously, we don't want to do that. Now, when you look at the map, you'll see that Dark Blue's base gets all the gold, 240. And the E flag gets 120. That's why Dark Blue is focused on those flags, because that gets them the most gold. And the longer they hold them, the longer the game takes. At this point, we have all the other flags, so we will win any War of Attrition, which is basically what we're doing here. And as I said earlier, this is, this is going really well, so this, this should be over in the next two or three minutes, tops. I remember when I first started playing Shield Wall. This was the first mission that ever really gave me a hard time. And it took me a while to figure out what the basic strategies the different AIs were using was. But in Shield Wall, you'll find that that is the secret to the game. Once you get a sense of what each color's strategies are, it becomes very easy to counter it and to develop a strategy to win the mission. And that's what we're bringing you here each week. All right, so we are already past, well past Dark Blue in points. So we're getting close to the end. If we were trailing, we would have to drag this out longer to hack away at their ability to fight us and respawn troops. But uh, with everything upgraded, we're just going to build up a little more gold. And then we're just going to go. We're going to take a run at the main gate, knock it down. And then we're going to retreat back to here. I'm going to go ahead and get the standard horn cooldown just so I can blow it more often. I, I don't really need it at this point, but why not? Because they do come out of the fort and get to you every 30 seconds or so. So if you don't upgrade, you might not be able to blow the horn every time they come. All right, so they're holding at their flag, so we're just gonna take advantage of this, run up here and break the gate. Now I will point out that if you take the path to the right, you can go around to the back of the fort. 
and you get an achievement for attacking and breaking that gate back there. Alright, so once we break through, we're gonna turn around and retreat. Come on, guys. Oh, oh, I'm stuck in my guys. There we go. I want to rebuild my army up to 25. Weaken their army one last time. And then we're going to just charge in, take the flag, and end the game. Okay, keep my guys at 25. All right, we've killed enough of them. Let's go. If you don't kill their leader... Um, he may try and take E. So that's just something to be aware of. Oh, here we go. Yeah, he's trying to take E. Alright, well, we've got the fort. They can't spawn anybody right now until they get E down. And with just one or two people, it's going to take them a long time to get E down. So we'll get back there in time and end this. Oh, uh, yeah, there's only two of them. And I can still spawn troops here, so... It's over. And that's it! That is... a pretty flawless run-through. I did die once, so... not perfect. But that's how you beat Level 4 Britannia. Well... That's going to do it for this episode of Shield Wall. If you guys are enjoying it on the channel, please hit that like button to let us know. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It really helps us to grow the channel, and you never miss an episode of Shield Wall. We'll be back soon with more videos for you guys. Thanks for watching.